A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The Church celebrates today the memorial of St. John Baptist de La Salle. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Punzalan S. Vili. Our celebration will now begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we approach the Holy Week that begins on Palm Sunday or Passion Sunday, in our Gospel reading for today, the Lord continues to make claim after claim. And each claim is more fantastic than the previous one. In the Gospel reading for today, the Lord makes the claim that anybody who keeps His word will never see death. And it was another statement that shocked the Jews. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him, My covenant with you is this, You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you 
must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. to my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. And so the Jews said to Jesus, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died as did the prophets, Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never see death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who also died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing, but it is my father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know my father. I would be like a liar, but I do know, I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it, and he was glad. And so that you said to him, you are not yet 50 years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. And so they pick up stones to throw at Jesus. But Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. My dear friends in Christ, this is the gospel, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is exactly a week before Holy Thursday. Next Thursday is already Holy Thursday. This coming Sunday is Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion, the beginning of the Holy Week. My dear brothers and sisters, you will notice that during these days, the opposition to Jesus is getting to be stronger and fiercer. Our Lord makes one claim after another that will shock the Jews. 
Of course, it was the literal mindedness of the Jews that blocked their understanding of the statements of Jesus. The Jews even made a counterclaim that Jesus must be possessed by a demon. Does this man Jesus know what he is saying? He makes claim after claim. He must be possessed by Beelzebul. What does the statement mean? I solemnly assure you, if a man is true to my word, he shall never see death. In the first place, our Lord, when He speaks of death, does not refer to biological death. This is not about physical death. Our Lord simply wanted to convey that anyone who accepts Him has entered into a new relationship with God that goes beyond ordinary time into the timelessness of eternity and beyond death to deathless life. For the, per for the person who fully accepts Christ, death has lost its finality. That person has entered into a relationship with God that neither time nor eternity can ever cut off. And our Lord goes not from life to death, but from life to life, He says. Death is only the introduction to a nearer presence of God. There is another claim that came like a flash of lightning to the Jews. When our Lord said that Abraham rejoiced to see his day. Again, the Jews misunderstood what Jesus originally meant. The Jews protested, How can you have seen Abraham? You are not yet 50. Are you not wondering why they said 50? Why 50? Why not 60? Why not 70? Why not 80? The Bible says, 70 is the sum of our years or 80 for those who are strong. Why 50? It is because 50 is the number at which the Levites retired from their service in the military. In the Philippines, it's 56 years old. But retirement age in the Philippines is 60 or 65. So the Jews were saying to Jesus, You are not yet 50. You are still a young man. He was then only about 32 or 33. You are still a young man and still in the prime of life. You are not even old enough to retire from service. How can you possibly have seen Abraham? This is mad talk. You are making a stupid, a foolish statement. It was then that the Lord made the most staggering revelation. And the Lord said, Before Abraham came to be, I am. Before Abraham came to be, I am. My dear brothers and sisters, remember that I am is the name of God. This is the name given by God when Moses asked, how he would introduce him to the Israelites. The Lord said to Moses, If they ask you about me, you tell them, I am. And so looking at Jesus, who is obviously not yet 50 years old, the Jews find it hard to believe that Jesus could have seen Abraham, who lived some 1,850 years before Jesus they fail to grasp the expression of Jesus who is putting himself on a par with the Father through the use of the self-description, I am. My dear brothers and sisters, notice that Jesus did not say, Before 
Abraham came to be, I was. But he said, I am, because I am is the name of God. Here is the claim that God is timeless. Jesus is timeless. When we speak of time, we never, when, when we speak of God, we never speak of time. There was never a time when God came into being. There never will be a time when God is not in being. There never will be a time when God is nothing because God always is. But our Lord did not mean that He, the human figure, had always existed. We know that Jesus was born into this world at Bethlehem some 2,000 years ago, but there is more than that here. There is only one person in the world who is timeless, and that person is God. What Jesus is saying here is nothing less than that the life in Him is the life of God. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In Jesus we see not simply a man who came and lived and was crucified and died. In Jesus we see and recognize the timeless God who is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, who was before time and who will be after time, who always is God. In other words, in Jesus, we see the eternity of God. In Jesus, the eternal God revealed Himself to people. My dear brothers and sisters, even if the Lord would be crucified, on the cross, God will never die. God will always live. God will be with us even until the end of time. Even beyond the end of time. Amen. Let us present our petitions to Jesus who guides us in our journey of faith to the Father. The response will be, Jesus, bring us to the Father. Jesus, bring us to the Father. That God's kingdom may exist within the hearts of those who recognize Jesus' presence, we pray. Jesus, bring us to the Father that through Jesus we may receive the strength to journey in faith as Abraham did, we pray. Jesus, bring us to the Father. That our faith may be clearly evident through Jesus' action in our hearts, we pray. Jesus, bring us to the Father. That the sick and those who are in trouble may acknowledge Christ's presence who accompanies them in their journey, we pray. Jesus, bring us to the Father. For our civil and political leaders, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and come to the aid of those lacking in basic necessities of life and devise social and economic solutions for the welfare of the citizenry. We also pray and thank for the ordinary people who find ways to help the least and the less among the society. May the true Bayanihan spirit prevail among all of us, we pray. Jesus, bring us to the Father. That the faithful departed may reach their, their eternal home, we pray. Jesus, Jesus bring, bring us, us to the, to the Father. Father. Let us also pray for an orderly and a peaceful and independent election on May 9 in the Philippines. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, bring us to the Father. Let us pray for and greet the LaSalle brothers as they celebrate today the memory of their founder, St. John Baptiste de LaSalle. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Jesus, bring us to the Father. Lord God, grant our petition, sustain our faith as we journey through life, that our reunion with you may be joyful. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our common Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, 
you and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting up your sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing. He broke the bread, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and again he gave you thanks, gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in remembrance of me. the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death, you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles and martyrs, and all the saints, especially John Baptiste de La Salle, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, all the bishops and clergy, religious and missionaries, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this community whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful God, gather to yourself all your children is scattered all over the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence and trust in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Deliver our country and our people from other evils. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear as we wait in joy and in hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each other with a sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Jesus said to the Jews, Before Abraham came to be, I am. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus. The same yesterday, today, and forever. The Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world, happy are those invited to receive Him. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, O Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. 
grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Fernandez. Please be seated for some announcement. Our Holy Week 2022 schedule of masses and activities are as follows, which will be done on site and online. Stations of the Cross every Friday at 5 p.m. Palm Sunday, April 10, will follow the regular Sunday Mass schedule as shown on the screen. On Holy Monday to Holy Wednesday, April 11 to 13, our Lenten Recollection and Mass at 6 p.m. Our, spe our speakers for Holy Monday, Mr. J. Paul Hernandez, Feast Builder and Lay Preacher. Holy Tuesday, Father J. De Leon, SVD, Mission Secretary of SVD Botswana Province, Africa. Holy Wednesday, Ms. Isaac Caparas, the Bayoyong Family and Relationship Consultant, the Love Institute. On Holy Wednesday at 8 p.m. until 4 p.m., Babasa Online and On-Site. Holy Thursday, 8.30 a.m., Lodz, 2 p.m., Virtual Visita Iglesia via live stream. 5 p.m., Mass of the Lord's Supper and Washing of the Feet. Holy Friday, 8.30 a.m., Lodz, 9 a.m., Stations of the Cross, on-site and online. 3 p.m., Celebration of the Lord's Passion. 5 p.m., Devotion to the Sorrowful Mother and Burol ni Jesus. Burol ni Jesus. Holy Saturday, 8.30 a.m., Lodz, 7 p.m., Easter Vigil, followed by Salubong. Easter Sunday will follow the Sunday Mass schedule as shown on the screen. Once again, we thank you for your support. God bless you all. Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. I'd like to greet our benefactors, our donors and friends of our seminarians, the families of seminarians. We would like to greet you from Christ the King Seminary, a pleasant good morning. In particular, we would like to thank some of them, like Lourdes, Cristina, Lucita, Felizardo, Zara, Oliven, thank you very much. Zara, thank you very much. Rosalie, Anastasia, Teresa, Archimedes, Cristina, Elvi, Maria Arli, maraming salamat. Alan, Loretta May, Maristela, maraming salamat. Claudette, maraming salamat. Anna Marie, April, Ami, thank you very much. Susan Jenny, maraming salamat. Rachel, Attorney Barin, marami pong salamat. Jenny, Imelda, Dada, thank you so much. Rizel, Janice, Amon and Gigi, Rose, thank you so very much. Rosalinda and Ricardo, marami pong salamat. Ivy, Jenny V, thank you so very much. Delphine and Chuchi, we hope to see you in Christ the King soon. Also with Mrs. Grande, we hope to see you here in Christ the King. Marami pong salamat. Heda, Consuelo, Thelma, Patrick and Jean, thank you so very much sa inyong lahat. Emily, Fred and Cora, maraming salamat. Jane, Rolly, thank you so very much. And Jocelyn or Joy, maraming 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 salamat. 
I do not know if my eyes are clear. Is that Father Jay? Father Jay Flandes? Can you stand up? Si Father Jay po ay missionary natin sa Hong Kong, SVD. And uh, he was my student. He, was, he has been in Hong Kong as an SVD missionary for the past 18 years. And he is now on vacation in the Philippines. He comes from Cebu. He studied at the University of San Carlos. Let's welcome and greet Father Jay. Give him a round of applause. My eyes are still clear. I see you from here. And uh, very importantly, wag po rin yung kalilimutan ng ating recollection bukas, online recollection. Again, pass the word around. Meron tayong recollection, maigsi lamang, from 7 to 8.30 in the evening. And we have invited four SVD missionaries working in the foreign missions. They will be the ones to share their mission experiences in relation to Lent. And we have requested them to share their rich missionary testimonies during a short recollection tomorrow evening. Uh, one of them is from Hungary, or I mean a Filipino SVD working in Hungary. The other is a Filipino SVD assigned in South Africa. The other is a Filipino SVD assigned in the United States and still another Filipino SVD Father Jay assigned in Hong Kong. So it's an interesting mix of missionaries. Please come, uh, tune in with us, um, 7 to 8.30 in the evening. I would like also that you invite your friends, your families, the families of our benefactors, the families, the parents of our seminarians, your friends, all of them. Please join us in this very important short Lenten online recollection. Now, we would also like to show our bank account details. Doon po sa nais magbahagi, nais tumulong sa ating mga seminarista, ang amin pong panawagan ay walang katapusan. It's timeless as the homily says. Because God is timeless and formation work is timeless. The seminarians here, they keep on coming and then after several years, they become missionaries themselves. Like Father Jay, who has been an, a missionary for 18 years in Hong Kong. So nananawagan po kami sa mga nais tumulong sa ating mga kabataang nag-aaral ng pagpapare. Uh, ipinapakita namin sa inyo ang ating bank account details, Banco de Oro, Div Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc., and the uh, account number is 000-220-191-247. I hope I'm correct. 000-220-191-247. Meron din po tayong dalawang GCAS numbers na pwede rin ninyong gamitin sa pagpapadala ng inyong tulong para sa mga seminarista. Uh, 0967 318 9830 and 0945-743-0935. Please help our seminarians as they continue to study for the priesthood and we will sincerely appreciate any help and any assistance that you, you can extend to them. Maraming maraming salamat po in the name of the SVDs here at Christ the King Mission Seminary. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
May the Holy Triune God always